take a look under your wheels. If you're like most people on Earth, you're driving on asphalt. That blacktop surface connects cities, winds through countrysides, and wraps around every corner of modern life. But why asphalt? Why not concrete, gravel, cobblestone, or even recycled plastic? It turns out the roads we use today aren't just the result of habit. They're a mix of cost, convenience, chemistry, and compromise. Okay, let's get started. Asphalt is a blend of crushed stone, sand, and bitumen, a thick, sticky substance made during crude oil refining. When heated, it becomes pourable. When cooled and compacted, it hardens into a smooth, water-resistant surface. But the magic isn't just in its ingredients, it's in how it behaves. Asphalt is flexible. It can bend ever so slightly under pressure or temperature changes. That flexibility makes it perfect for places where the ground shifts. The weather changes, or the traffic never stops. Concrete roads are made from cement, water, and aggregates. They're incredibly strong. A well-built concrete road can last 30 to 40 years. But that strength comes at a price. Concrete is rigid. It doesn't flex. So when the ground beneath shifts or the temperature swings, it's more likely to crack. Repairs are slow and resurfacing is costly. Not to mention, it takes days to cure. Asphalt can be driven on within hours. So while concrete is great for highways, airports and heavy freight routes, it's overkill for your neighborhood street. It's like using a tank to deliver your pizza. Then there's gravel, the simplest kind of road. It's literally just crushed rock laid and compacted. It's dirt cheap, drains well, and is easy to maintain if you have a tractor. But gravel has problems. It's dusty, bumpy, and erodes easily. Every rainstorm or snowplow takes a piece of the road with it. Driving on gravel is loud, uneven, and messy. It's great for farms or rural access roads. But for cities, it's a no-go. Cobblestones once ruled the world. Before asphalt, they paved entire cities and some still survive centuries later. They're undeniably beautiful, but they're also a nightmare to drive on. They're noisy, slippery when wet, expensive to install, and even more expensive to repair. And unless you're trying to set the mood in a historical film, they don't belong in a modern traffic system. So these days, cobblestones are mostly used for aesthetic streets or pedestrian zones, not high-speed traffic. What about modern innovation? Roads made from recycled plastic, old tires, or even solar panels? Fully replacing asphalt with plastic or solar tech? Not yet. The cost, durability, and scalability just don't compete, especially when you're paving thousands of kilometers a year. Asphalt strikes a balance that no other material does. It's cheaper than concrete, faster to install than any alternative, and it's recyclable. Up to 95% of old asphalt can be reused in new pavement. It's not perfect. Extreme heat can make it soft. Cold can make it brittle. It usually needs resurfacing every 15 to 20 years. But here's the key. Asphalt is designed to be fixed. You can patch a pothole in hours, resurface a lane overnight. That's why even concrete highways often have asphalt top layers, because it's easier to maintain. Asphalt may not be glamorous, but it's practical. It bends but doesn't break. It's built for traffic, built for weather, built for time. And in a world that needs roads fast, asphalt keeps everything moving. Want to know what actually makes your tires grip the road or why potholes form in the first place? Hit that subscribe button and check out our next episode in the Stuff You Drive On series.